<laughs> good evening sushri so uh, how are you now how what's your feeling after getting selected it's, it's, it's extremely overwhelming sir it's extremely overwhelming sorry uh, very sorry all. okay guys so uh, guys uh, we have sushri shivangi with us uh, who secure all in the rank to 48 so uh, first question to you susri that as you have completed your bsc agriculture from angro so so many students are asking that whether she started at the time of graduation or just after graduation that is after bsc agriculture no uh, actually i had started uh, to be honest i in my fourth year of my college i had just started buying the book so that i get used to it before i go to delhi for my coaching so i bought the only the famous book polity lakshmi kan because that was that's the most famous book so i bought that and i bought spectrum and i just went through it to see what it is uh, actually about so i got some videos and did a little bit of research so i had researched a lot before i uh, went to delhi to join my coaching uh, that was it sir. okay so can you in brief uh, how was your journey from the bsc agri to securing the rank in upsc csc just just in brief sir uh, it was not at all a smooth journey for me because i failed prelims thrice and this was my fourth attempt and this was the first time i cleared prelims and bsc i actually agriculture uh, I, i decided to take agriculture as my optional because uh, um i was doing good in college so i thought it would be easy but so what happened i i and during my mains also i thought i'll be able to do it i'll be able to do it even without uh, starting also i can write something i can write something but that got me lesser marks in my gs paper and in my uh, optional paper too so uh, and i was focusing a lot on gs because i i was overconfident about my agriculture optional so uh, i it was a it was a it was not a smooth journey but uh, it happened uh, everything fell into place and it was it ended well how did you manage the balance between the gs and optional preparation uh, particularly in the last attempt La, uh, sorry sir uh, particularly in this particular attempt this attempt how you manage between the gs and optional so like time allotment before actually before uh, this upsc mains i had written to other mains of up state services and odisha state services in that uh, those uh, exams also my uh, my optional was agriculture so a little bit i i had studied uh, uh, on my optional of their uh, previous your question so i had i had, had some notes not very exhaustive notes i had some notes so uh, that's why i thought that i would give more time to gs because i was starting gs from scratch uh, for upsc and i was getting overwhelming number of materials in the market so i did not know where to start from so it was my plan that in the uh, that optional i'll do i had divided my week like this at four days in a week i'll do gs and then uh, three days i'll do optional from the very beginning from june only so that was how it, uh, it was done and during the last 15 days i had done only optional uh, sorry uh, uh, just uh, september 15 was our mains so from august 15 to august 30 i had done only optional and from september 1 to 15 i had done only gs so uh, that was the uh, whole time management as you say so many students are uh, because Yes, yes, yes. Carry on. Uh, mostly because, uh, uh, to be honest, I also did not have a lot of notes prepared. So your notes came in handy because it was all very in points and topics were very well divided. So everything was in points. So I did not have to read the entire textbook to make notes of it. And uh, there was, I remember, there was a time when I uh, I called you and I was like, "Sir, I'm not getting." this particular topics and i'm not getting that and you said don't search anywhere just go to my notes uh, you will get it and i got i just made it in the last 15 days from august 15 to 30 i covered a lot of topics from your notes i just made shorter notes from your notes and then i revised it uh, like three, i had revised it very much during uh, the, those five days before the optional exam so that helped a lot for my optional 
and uh, i think that saved me that was secure 250 otherwise i would have gone to 30 or 220 it was Miss, it mean that uh, by just studying 15 days uh, from the notes you have secure 250 and if you are like studying for last 6 month and uh, attempting all the test i think result might be a little bit different you might be among the top 100 Yes, sir, because uh, that your notes were so handy and it was so in points that it, uh, it was it just made it so easy to pick up my answers from that. I was just you you had you also have that PYQ uh, booklet uh, yes. previous your question. I was only seeing the questions from that and I was looking for the topics and I was making crisp notes from that. So it was just in that fifteen days I prepared a lot of it. My GS two I'm saying uh, optional paper two I'm saying I prepared a lot of it from that and that only um, brought me here. Thank uh, you so year, much. Last year I have found that so many students they are not giving that much importance to the answer writing. Even though you mains candidate out of ten test they have some wrote four test or some wrote six test some just write one test and they are telling that say we we will revise and we will write it later. so what is the importance of answer writing in upsc just tell in your language so they will get aware i cannot emphasize it enough up answer writing is the most 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 important one no matter how much you study how much you uh, uh, what do you say jitna bhi aap ratta maar lo us cheez ko लेकिन अगर आपको लिखना नहीं आता एक पर्टिकुलर थ्री आवर के टाइम में या फिर सात मिनट के टाइम पे वो सारा धरा का धरा रह जाएगा सो इट इज जस्ट इट इज एंड माई फॉल्ट वॉज ऑल्सो दैट आई हैड नॉट डन अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन ऑप्शनल आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑप्शनल ऑल्सो आई हैड नॉट डन अ लॉट बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज ऑफ माई ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस की हो जाएगा करके सो बट इन जी एस आई हैड डन अ लॉट ऑफ आंसर राइटिंग and uh, i can i used to write answers every day for 2 hours uh, so uh, and then cross check peer checking karte the hum so we used to do peer uh, peer checking and that that helped a lot uh, and with respect to optional i had only uh, gone through pyqs from your booklet only and i used to write pyqs 3 three, uh, three days a week of, of optional pyqs and then write full papers but i wrote very less full length papers Uh, so that uh, that uh, definitely was a lacking in my preparation uh, but answer writing is very very important okay so another question is that some student are asking that sir how to value add the answer some is asking that how to make our answer attractive is there anything that uh, making answer attractive and making uh, making answer valuable So there's a very uh, very uh, famous uh, thing that popular thing that goes in Delhi that runs in Delhi and uh, runs in various coaching centers uh, that uh, diagrams make answers attractive and ye uh, and all of that and uh, so I uh, but we had a we had the opportunity in Jamia Millia Islamia to interact with a uh, ex uh, ex examiner of UPSC who used to check answers so of uh, in UPSC. so he told us ke that we don't see diagrams as much as you think that we uh, we are uh, we wanted uh, to be on the paper so unless it is extremely necessary don't put diagrams uh, because it just it, it we feel like uh, you are trying to cover the use the uh, page and not put content so the so focus and he told that the focus should be on handwriting and content Uh, write as much content as possible as much content as possible instead of focusing on drawing a map or drawing some diagram or drawing some chart because we run a lot behind data and chart and figures so he said we write a lot of content and relevant content so i would say keep focused uh, on legible writing and uh, you develop the style your own personal style of answering even if you are not adding diagrams to it or not adding the extra x factor like way forward or something we also asked him about whether it is very important to use way forward right way forward or not he was saying don't write anything of that sort is not asked if if suggestions are asked then only write the way forward if suggestions are not not asked don't waste your time so i think just understand address the demanding of the question and developing your own style would uh, would help a lot instead of trying to uh, uh, cramp the paper with a lot of diagrams or a lot of data and lot of examples so that will help if any candidate is supposed to clear the mains of 28th of may 
if uh, he or she want to get uh, his optional ready by the mains of this year like at the end of september what would be your four month strategy what do you suggest how to cover the optional in the four months whether they should go for reference book or like a data which is available in the market or notes or what should be your suggestion to them if they want to just have hold on the optional in four months so four months if they uh, i would uh, i will sir uh, in fact in persons who meet people aspirants who meet me in personal life also in persons also i keep i tell them a lot ki go uh, swear by the syllabus and uh, pyqs uh, those will be your uh, brahmastra as you call as you call it so i only did your pyqs and your notes wala uh, all the notes my my your the, the your pyq ka booklet was my uh, was there right on the table every single time i used to just did i just did pyqs so those go through those pyqs and accordingly make your notes instead of just reading cover to cover or book to every line every single line go through the pyqs and make notes accordingly and uh, fix a time limit uh, there is a very uh people will venture out like if you go and search on google there will be a lot of materials available and you will not be able, and you will keep on making searching on a sim, uh, single topic so don't do that instead i would suggest ki go for those crisp crisp uh, thing which are already present as as i told you in the 15 days of the last august 15 to 30 i had made uh, 60% of my optional paper two notes was made from your uh, Uh, material that you had provided me so uh, i would suggest go for something like that instead of google googling every topic and googling or going through your textbooks and all, uh, all of that because all all the points are already in crisp uh, uh, all the information are pro is provided you just have to make your own shorter notes so i would suggest go for that if you want to complete it in a shorter period of time pyq syllabus and uh, for me to your notes work so i would suggest your notes only sir okay uh, and another thing is that you got a good amount of mark in your interview also what was your experience uh, sir my uh, interview actually i was expecting more marks i was expecting 190 plus because my interview was very good they asked me a lot of agriculture questions and preeti sudan ma'am uh, was very much impressed with me also as i felt it as i felt but then i think she was not so much impressed she gave me 180 uh, but anyway uh, interview experience there were a lot of agriculture questions on uh, uh, how Uh, there was question on crop insurance there was question on what are the all how to double farmers income and there was question on uh, how to uh, how to bridge the gap between production and uh, hunger so there is production pump of production but there is still hunger everywhere so a, ma a majority of my uh, interview went towards agriculture and uh, i would like to highlight how uh, i'll highlight here how you have literally literally given me on a plate how to uh, approach the interview because uh, i already had a feeling that half of my uh, 25 sorry 75% of my interview would go towards agriculture and you literally handed me other questions on a plate so i would say we we uh, i remember we had good two two hour discussions on the before the interview and you have given me all the topics and i had gone through the topics i had gone through every crop and everything that you had told me uh so all that uh, actually helped increasing the presence of mind there in agriculture ki yes uh, because i wasn't prepared for the crop insurance uh, uh, wala question but uh, i had talked with you so much about agriculture that i was very upfront ki yes i know yeah yeah i can say it. so that was a confident it gave me so that uh, it was a very nice experience i would say overall it was a very nice experience it mean that uh... Uh, if you are doing answer writing or giving mock that is helping a lot rather than just reading the things from the book if you are doing lot of yes. practice in answer writing yes. or at the time of mock giving two three mocks and discussing with, with your teacher that is directly reflecting yes. in your mock or answer copy sir absolutely i would say instead of mock i think the discussion we, we did not have a mock interview we had a discussion so that discussion was uh, it fed into my mind how to how to approach how to approach so I, it was uh, like that yes i can answer i can answer because uh, we had discussed on length 
for for good two hours it was a discussion so that helped a lot and so so more on practice more on discussions will uh, instead of just sitting and mugging up things discussion would help more and practice would help more yes you know that agriculture universities and agriculture graduate they are very emotional about the agriculture is okay so uh, even though uh, all over the india i think more than 60 agriculture universities are there and almost from every agriculture university i am getting message that sir please conduct her one interview or or one to one session so you should know about her strategy so have you called to your university angro or any professor what was their feeling three four of my professors called me actually they contacted they got my number from somewhere because they did not have any contact with me for good four five years but all of a sudden after five years or something they called me and they were like we are so happy to see see they were uh, one of the professors uh, he he used to be my fa- i used to be his favorite student he cried on, over the phone uh, saying we are so happy that you got you are from agriculture background we are so proud that somebody from our college uh, got, so that was a very uh, overwhelming feeling when my professors themselves caught found out my contact number from somewhere and made the effort to call me it was very nice man sir Uh, so what is your last message to the agriculture graduate sir um uh, i think uh, the question this year uh, as if i uh, as per my assessment the question this year was not very difficult it was very uh, very good paper so agricultural graduates i would say have an edge as uh, edge in the sense ki uh, my paper got completed uh, my paper got completed 15 minutes before the Uh, three hour was over, so I completed my paper in two hour forty five minutes. So uh, I believe it was it is a uh, completely my personal assessment. I believe we have a edge if we go through the PYQs and make our short answers, uh, make our short notes. It is very we can definitely secure the graduates can definitely secure more than two fifty easily if they go through those crisp notes and PYQs everything that will help them a lot. So the uh, don't haphazardly study. Study with a strategy. Study with your PYQs and syllabus, and uh, you can sail through. Any graduate, agricultural graduate will sail. Same thing I am telling to the student that if you are just doing basic thing like uh, covering your syllabus, solving the question paper, you can easily uh, easily reach up to two fifty. But if you want to get more than that, you have to put some extra effort like. Uh, continuously writing the test more revisions just a uh, value addition to your answers discussion with your colleagues regarding the answers okay that are the most important thing i think uh, uh, it's all about so that's it from uh, student side okay and we wish you all the best uh, for your success and hope that you will get ias uh, from this selection <laughs> okay Thank and you. if uh, and if ips then you should try once again and prove that uh, you are made for it Okay. Yes. Okay, so see, Thank uh, thanks for your time and joining with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.